This morning, Tampa Mayor Jane Castor is waking up with the 2024 budget on her desk. Right now, it's waiting for her signature. Yes, it is. It took multiple marathon meetings and hours of number crunching, but the council has come to an agreement. This morning, 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joining us in studio to break down how the city will be spending your tax dollars. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, Frank and Caitlin. You know, last half hour, we discussed how the city's addressing one of its biggest needs, affordable housing. They've allocated $12 million, which is $5 million more than originally intended. Now, the other big issue, public safety, with both the police and fire departments needing more staff and equipment to keep up with a growing city. And the fire department is dealing with some aging fire stations that need updating, as well as a new station altogether. In the budget, police and fire will each get $8 million, with a little extra going to fix those fire stations. My motion, again, for clarity, is to take $1 million from the CIT to put towards Station 24 as our olive branch and understanding that we are going to work incredibly hard all year to get this done as quickly as possible, hopefully getting a shovel in the ground. Now, the police department did have to take a cut in funding, but the chief says they are going to be applying for grants to try and make up the difference and be able to hire the 30 more officers he says he needs. Now, city council also nixed funding to big events like River of Green and Boom by the Bay, saving about $80,000. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean those events aren't going to happen since they were largely funded by Tampa's downtown partnership, but it remains to be seen whether the partnership will be able to foot the entire bill or even maybe scale back some of these events just to be able to keep them on the calendar. In studio this morning, Jenny Dean, back to you.